<laughs> really? Why was this? Hand motions? What the fuck are we doing? I don't Professional know. Professional as We're always, guys. <laughs> I know. I was, I had a plan. The shit that was like, it, it fell apart in the middle of it. Anyway, welcome everybody hand signals with none of us know (laughs) the nerd asylum by night which is the nerd asylum's vampire the masquerade actual play charity stream raising money for bodies children's hospital through extra life we have jesus holy shit we have a new follower question mark oh thank you hello welcome been true i wonder what uh clan they are gee (laughs) um we have a donation link that'll be in the description of this video or below the video we also will put the description and the put the link in the description of this video once it's uploaded on YouTube here in a few days, and you can find all of our stuff on YouTube. What's up, DB? What's that face? Nothing. Just okay. keep talking. Okay. That was more of a look for Joseph for putting Barovia. He is not on it today. How are we doing? How long has it been? Happy Monday. Yeah. Hello. I'm done. I'm out. Lucian checks out. No, get back over here. Fish your mistakes. <laughs> he did. He did. Uh, he put the. He, oh. He's got the nerd asylum by night one. I'm sorry. We're starting off hot. Remember how I have an expressive face? I can't help it. Do I you know. want to turn off my camera? That. Absolutely not. Never. <sighs> so, um. Oops. Yes, please donate to our Extra Life campaign and you can affect the game in real time. You can give the give our lovely players extra dice to their die pools. You can give them re-rolls. You can summon enemies. You can summon friends? Question mark. Is anyone truly a friend in Vampire the Masquerade? Lindsay or you can is. up and down hunger and such like that. So, where we last left our kindred Oh shit, it's Prince William by night. Y'all are awesome. What's up? Yeah. Uh, where we last left our kindred, sorry. We had a little bit of an unofficial Halloween episode where our coterie went to ghost hunting. Why is that in quotes? Because you don't need the equipment. Stasia can see the ghost. And we had this discussion like three times. Did you really just, just put your teeth in on stream? Yet again. It's fucking fun. dentures over here, old man. <laughs> <laughs> we used up all of our professionalism in last week's guest episode. So <laughs> two weeks ago is when our professionalism uh, decided to go out the window. Yeah. It's gone. If you haven't seen it, it's glorious. Go it's go glorious. Watch last episode. Yeah. No, no, no. We're Please going. We're doing video. it live. Let's go. So last week, our code room went ghost hunting at a uh, rundown house in a local neighborhood. Uh, turns out that house was not unoccupied and was actually occupied by a very terrifying kindred of questionable Rouse. clan that, no, qu- kindred of questionable clan that whose clan they actually never quite figured out whose name was Ophelia. And she knew some very interesting information about the key that Stasia wears and the box that goes with it. We also learned that Stasia is actually caitiff and not Bruja. And afterwards, <laughs> on the way home, we also learned that Jessica, the shop's daytime employee, has been drinking human blood in her coffee, not kindred blood, meaning she may or may not be a thin blood. So, where we are continuing our vampire story tonight, now that I have the reins firmly in hand, friends, um, Lindsay, on this Monday evening at the shop, you are looking at the box once more, trying to see what you can get out of it. First of all, everyone, please give me a rouse check for the new night. Well, I'm hungry. We We may have a slight echoing issue. If anyone else in the chat notices, please let us know so we can try and get that fixed. You have echoing? I have a message from a friend who is not in the chat saying that it sounds like everyone's a little has two voices except for Lucian, which would be Joe. A bit better now. Yeah. 
Uh, what was everyone? Uh, I have I'm one. good. So okay, so two. Lucian's two. Lindsay's at one. Angry. Stassi's at one. Base was at two. Good, good, good. Lindsay. Yes. Please also roll me another Raz check for your premonition. I'm good. Okay. Aspects. Decent amount of dice. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Starting up strong. Oh, it's a messy crit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, we got a donation. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. That was very exciting. Uh, ten dollars. So that may be a uh, that may be a reroll to help you with that messy crit. I mean, if you don't want to use if you don't want to use willpower to try and cancel it out. So no, it's good though. A messy crit. Is that not good? I mean, it's a crit. How many successes do you have? Seven. Okay. But I that, can re-roll if Nessa. So if you're worried about me breaking this fucking box. I mean, I'm just saying a messy crit is a critical, but it has consequences. So you might break the box. Fine, I'll re-roll. Okay. Or even if it's worse, bad, something I'm else in the shop. Or something else in the shop. Just Lucian, isn't that okay? Listen, bitch, you've broke your own shit. I'll do what I want. I'm a fucking <laughs> rock star. Let's be clear, that was my thing. shit. It was my shit. You broke my shit in the shop. Okay, so... What did you do? No, it's fine. It's not okay. a messy crit, but it's the same amount. I don't know how I did this, so it's still seven. But you no longer have a messy. Right. Nice. All right, well, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> so... Lindsay, you are holding this box. And as you have gotten used to these these last week or so, couple of weeks, nights, you stare off into space and lose the outside world for a moment. Trying to focus on where this box goes to, what it opens, and where this supposed Zlachka, or whatever it was that Ophelia was talking about, resides. You see the woods. Dark, nighttime, stars overhead. Rocky terrain, definitely mountainous. And it's almost like you are following a trail that then turns and goes into a divot in the incline of the mountain where you find a mostly hidden cave entrance. Whatever it is you're following, you could say the camera, I guess you could say, or your, your vision follows down into this cave entrance, into the dark, into the rocks, into this dank, mossy moist area <laughs> it's it's a cave it's a fucking cave okay don't give me these faces y'all i swear to god no no please continue to describe the cave <laughs> so it goes for a while and then and it's almost too dark to see but you get the general feeling of the rocks around you. The It's very cramped, It's but it, it is still big enough to walk in for a normal sized person to be able to walk through. And then it almost seems to be carved out a little bit. Like there has been a path that was etched into this cave and now it has actually been 
made into more of a path, more of like a walkway that has nothing in the way of the head, no awkward places you have to squeeze through or anything. And it opens into a very small chamber, almost just more like a doorway, not even quite a chamber. And before you, you can see what seems to be some sort of stone door that has been carved into the rock wall. There are etchings in this door that look kind of like claw marks, but very purposeful claw marks. Like they're carving some sort of words or script, but not one that you know how to read. These, the script is surrounding a, another rough, almost clawed out carving in the center that seems to depict a spider-like humanoid figure. You see, you see the main humanoid figure with legs, extra legs coming out of the sides with a dragon that circles around it. And protruding from this door is a small, what can only be described as a bowl that has been worked into the stone. And then you're back at the shop. As soon as I get out of the vision, I will start drawing the, um, the doorway and the symbols and everything so that that doesn't leave my brain. Mm -hmm. um, it was hard to see, so you don't know if you're going to be able to get all the details. That's fine, but enough of it to, like, know maybe what's going, like, just maybe enough that maybe we could get part of it translated or maybe mm -hmm. it looks familiar to somebody. And you know that if you, if you were to ever see that again, you would absolutely recognize it. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, definitely going cave diving, apparently. Um, spelunking? Yes, that's what that word that is. is. Yes, <laughs> spelunking. That's not the first time I tried to do that, I guess. Um, I climbed into a boat. The rest of you were just hanging out on the dock. Don't give me that look, Joseph. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to... Um, I was probably sitting on the floor to do that so i'm just gonna like put the box down pick up the notebook start drawing okay down uh, were you doing that in your room you think sure. or yeah yeah well downstairs stasia <laughs> you have uh gotten into almost a nightly routine of starting off your evenings by grabbing a blood slushy, going to <laughs> going to the security system and skimming through the time, like the daytime footage of since you have hired Jessica, just to see if she does anything weird. You are, I imagine, because we we've all kind of got an idea of how Stasi is by now. I feel like you're like. Post it up, sitting with your feet up on the desk, just kind of sipping on the blood slushy, halfway paying attention, <laughs> looking at your phone. And you hear the piano playing. In, and it's in, coming from the footage. Uh, what's the time stamp on this? Uh, it looking at it, you see it is Jessica who is sitting at the piano. It is sometime last week, just in the afternoon, about three o'clock ish. She's playing beautifully. It's something very emotional, very complex, very professional. Like this is not someone just poking out chopsticks like she is into it and she is extremely skilled just gonna delete that footage <laughs> <laughs> and she but plays a couple she plays a couple of songs 
and she gets up and she very respectfully closes the thing on the piano, dusts it off a little bit, and then continues on with what she was doing. It looks like maybe she was cleaning. Why doesn't anyone respect the fucking sign? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to delete that. Just delete that <laughs> footage right now. Yep. In fact, I'm just going to keep looking for any time she's fucking with that thing too. Just delete that. It looks like that's the only time she's actually sat down and played it. Any other time is her dusting it off, adjusting the sign. I'm going to print out a uh, little sign that says, nah, but for real, don't fucking touch it. (laughs) I'm just going to tape that on there. Just like tape it onto the bottom, Mm -hmm. add it on. Yeah. Okay. So nothing, nothing weird. Other than that, no. She seems very courteous with customers. She is taking care of all of the knickknacks and paraphernalia of the shop, keeping it very clean. It's a fucking waste of my time. What else? I guess after that, I will uh, disappointedly... (laughs) go look for lucian all right lucian and basil what have you guys been doing on this fine monday evening go ahead basil go ahead uh i think he's reading one of lucian's books on the occult and ghosts (laughs) are you really (laughs) yeah what do you mean are you really i read I, I understand that, but you're you're into the occult and the ghosts and didn't we just go 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 ghost hunting together like several times? Yes, man. But I had to drag everyone out. We're just happy that you're happy. All right, it's been it's been kind I'm of a not Debbie Downer at all. I'm very right? excited that you're interested in this. If you yeah. Super, super interested. Was that sarcasm? No, no. It sounded an awful lot like sarcasm. I'm quite (laughs) fluent in sarcasm. I can detect the sarcasm. Well, usually you dish it, but you're not very good at taking it, so... I'm going to leave that one alone. Lucian, you've been spending time reading your books, right? I have been looking for something specific, yes. Uh, what have you been looking for? I am trying to locate individuals that are of a particular clan mm-hmm. in Haligdom. And I'm not having very much luck, apparently. Uh, you, were looking be... you were looking for the Hikata? Yes, there doesn't seem to be much information about that clan in Right, so... Haligdom. And it's not like you have books on. So here's the right, thing about have registries. There's yeah, there's no registries. There's no actual. Typically, there's no actual books on things like the clans, uh, their practices. You know, you were also going to look for like the Zlatka yourself. Uh, you don't find even the word Zlatka anywhere. Because it seems to be some sort of kindred creation that, of course, is not written down because it would break the masquerade. But even just from like kind of poking your head around and talking to some of your other kindred contacts, you know that the Hikata, there haven't really been anyone who identifies as the Hikata clan in Hiligdom. You do know that it's actually, the Hikata are relatively new. Something odd happened and several bloodlines that were starting to die out actually got together and formed a clan of their own sort of meshing the bloodlines and it included the giovanni bloodline and the cappadocians and a few other smaller ones and they are now under the umbrella of the hikata so that's kind of what i've been spending my time doing and kind of hitting a dead end I've mm-hmm. been going back into the uh, the ghost hunting, the occult, 
stuff, looking for cryptids and ghosts. All right. Are you like reading like occult stuff like right now or like ghost hunting stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always yes. doing that in my spare time. Stasia is gonna walk in and like see that. Just am, am I a fucking joke to you? Most of the time. I'm Fair. kidding, Stasia. You're fine. What 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 can I do for you? I'm wondering how you ended up getting a stain on your shirt. She like points to your uh, tie. Like it's honestly disgusting. It's not Bam, a stain. She like it's... flicks it. <laughs> she goes up and she flicks his nose. Mm. Yeah. Should have seen. You know where my vampire daddy is? Turn around. He was like right over there. <laughs> oh jeez, what the yeah. fuck? How do you do that? What? Oh, rude. Am I really that unforgettable to you? No, you just like blend in somehow. Which is weird. You should try that sometime. She gives him like a death player and then sticks out her tongue. Uh, he's in a mood. Don't worry about it. He's always in a mood. You uh, were looking for me. Yeah. I wanted to show you something that I learned. What are we talking about? Jeez, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Hit it here! <laughs> we love you too. Uh, so here's your box back. Uh, Lucian, do you have... Um, I don't know why I'm asking this. Can you point me in the direction of weird languages in the occult? Like oh, weird languages there. and the occult for dummies or some shit. Oh, um, that's going to be over there. Do you have that notebook in your hand? Oh yes, always. Uh, Stassi it's and on Lucian. me forever now. <laughs> like, right. but I mean, like you have it like out, like, yeah, yeah, where they yeah. can see. Yeah. So Stassi and Lucy, and if you guys are looking and you see this, the uh, what some of the script that she's been able to copy down. It's a little little off, a little wonky, but it reminds you a lot of the script that you saw on the papers that were in the box. Yeah, listen, that looks familiar. That looks that looks like on on the paper. What paper? So if you okay, so she's gonna open the box and she's just gonna oh wait. The papers aren't in there. Yeah, the papers. Oh, the papers that you gave to Victor that probably would have been more better to be here? I can call him. And you know what? I'm going to... Uh, you look so great today, by the way. <laughs> Your hair is just awesome. Uh, anyways, I have corrosive blood now. Bye. What? No, I <laughs> grab her. I grab her as she <laughs> says that. The jacket. Pull her back. Way to bury the lead. Corrosive blood, you say? Yeah, it's a thing. I learned. One what? might say she's quite toxic. <laughs> Sorry. You know Continue. What? That was actually a good one. That was actually... That was um, <laughs> so you're just like, we're just not going to talk about that? Uh, what's there to talk about? If we need something corroded, I'm your gal. Also, I can see ghosts. That's another thing I can do. I, I figured that's kind of how we got to the basement. Remember that? You yeah, told no, me I that just, whole thing. I just wanted you to know, and everyone here to know, <laughs> looked at Lucian. That <laughs> oh, so we don't go wants, ghost hunting anymore? If, if, you, if you need confirmation is what I'm trying to get at. We've had I this conversation a thousand goes, times. <laughs> it's not about seeing them. It's about providing proof for the mortals but why because oh. it's fun everyone also, needs like, a hobby it, would, do we, do we, we have souls? Raid? would we get in trouble for that hey basil whoa, 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 whoa. too many yes questions. you get a text <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna check still, my phone we're still fucking bickering yeah over in the background <laughs> Lindsay just has questions about souls right now. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay's starting wondering to... if it's masquerade breaking. She's starting to wax philosophical. Um, 
so basically you have a text from a uh, good old morticia sweet babe mama there's an address first and foremost it says midnight bring your coterie come armed time to pay your dues winky face uh you guys we have a date oh no i have another thing that i was doing tonight uh mm, this is uh mama tisha (laughs) i mean yeah i don't know her shit that's all you two so i'm not uh it's kind of a group activity so like Mandatory fun time! No! Oh, we've already done so many of those already. And what they if were it was fun. very scary? Okay. At this one, that um, yeah, so we thing. should bring, like, weapons, uh, wait, brush what? up on any, any, like, abilities that you have. You know, that I'm sorry, wait, we what? Yeah, hold on, we probably... Wait, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Pause. She, like, grabs his lips. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Go ahead, Lindsay. You're the brain well, of the operation. I, I, oh, I am? <laughs> yeah, you're the one who fucking punches people. <laughs> I have punched one person. I just have a feeling that it's just kind of your thing. I don't know, just something that resonates off of you that seems like in I every single iteration of your life, you probably punch someone in the face who you know may or may not have deserved it. And just it's something that kind of, it's like your vibe. love you are you done Mm -hmm. so you guys have fun come on family time it's it's a personal request yeah yeah we did owe her did we owe her to be fair you two owed her i feel like she shot me enough that i don't owe her shit i do like her she's great shot what (laughs) nothing nothing i'm just kidding i'm kidding I'm fine. I'll go get my gun and I'll send a text to the person yeah. that I was supposed to meet. Bring the weapon with you that you want to get shot with. I'll bring a bat. I always wanted to get beat the shit out with a bat. Didn't you just say that we needed weapons? Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my gun that Tish gave me. Yay, violence! Lucian? Violence? I saw him checking out his muscles. He thinks he has the guns. I, I'm walking away. Just <laughs> right say that. Awkward silence. Two arms. Oh my fucking god. Uh, ready to go. Are you ready to bear arms? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Do you not, have a pair of bear arms with you? Not particularly. They are quite pale. I'm going to murder <laughs> all of you. Can Kindred get concussions? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds, like a- <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a question for Dr. Gideon, who is not here this episode. James. I will. Wait, no, he won't know. <laughs> anyway. All right. So how is anyway. everyone how is everyone arming themselves? And I swear to God, if someone makes a pun, you're dying first. Okay. I'm gonna do what any sensible American would do and get my gun. <laughs> 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 Lindsay, get your gun. <laughs> Lindsay's got a gun. Uh, I didn't we pick up some extra little guns? Like, there I almost was, totally was early. Hank. Yeah, there was one gun that was uh, that you guys picked up in the hospital, but that did belong to Hank, and you presumably gave it back to them after yeah. the thing, considering yeah. Hank and Gideon were both standing know. there. I did. Okay, fine, we did. I think they would have been a little upset. I come downstairs texting on my phone. Gun. Holster. Jacket. I wasn't going to wear my jacket on top of all of this. It would be very hot. Um, uh, is Tish meeting us there or what? Where, where are we going? Uh, assume yes. She sent me an address, so all we have to do is show you up. You could confirm, like, hey, you gonna show up, text her back, say, hey, mom, it's been a while, haven't talked to you. Ah, there it is. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her a text saying, <laughs> you be there. Hey, which car are we taking? 
I feel like you don't want your sports car to get shot, right? I'm gonna take the beast. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. you sent you sent what's your shirt a text confused. saying, yes. uh, "Are you going to be there?" You get one back saying, "No, I'm gonna be in Timbuktu, dumbass." And this is why you texted her and not me. <laughs> Just look at Lindsay. I hate you so much. <laughs> you don't. <sighs> Yeah. What? It could be a trap. She could just be sending us in for some shiggles, man. Um, I do want to tell you that I texted Tony telling him I couldn't meet him tonight. Okay. It's a Monday night, so I know, but we I I assume that now that she has freedom, she tries to hang out with everybody as much as possible. Oh yeah. Oh, single ladies. Oh, single ladies. <laughs> Lucian has armed himself with a uh, letter opener. It's an old letter opener, and he's convinced that it's cursed. Uh, Lucian, as somebody who has seen your shop, maybe we go with something a little more deadly. How about this sword? That sword <laughs> cannot be used on anyone else. Um, the fucking look on Stasia's face. <laughs> what do you mean? I want the sword. If he's not going to use the sword, I call right the sword. over to it, and she takes it and looks Lucian right in the fucking eyes. And just takes it off of the fucking hangity thingy. And just puts it in her belt loop. Oh, I was like, put <laughs> it in her belt yeah. the belt. <laughs> she just Romeo and Juliet's herself, seppuku. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute. I wouldn't. Okay. I... That, so, uh, Sasia, that is. Insult. What? <laughs> wait, what? Nothing. It's... I would. I would just like to point out, Stasi, that that is a um, not quite like a long, long sword, but it's a, it's a it's a sword. It's it's a not a short, short sword. Yep. It's a it's a it's a yeah. it's a sword. It's a good like five feet this. long. Well, okay. I mean, she's of normal height now. She, yeah. Unlike I mean, now. No, nope. I'm just this meaning her thing. normal if size. I die is short. with it. I die with it. Also, does it have a sheath? This is important. Was it in the sheath? I don't. Remember. It was on display on the There's wall. No there is no sheath. She's gonna walk back over. <laughs> Where's the sheath to this? It this blade swords don't sheath. normally have sheaths. You're gonna figure this the fuck out. You know that didn't belong to your father. It, 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 it's but mine. Whatever. Uh, so, and I'm going to the car. All right, Basil, are you grabbing anything? Uh, Do you have anything to grab? Not really. I'm not a fight. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm, can I search the shop? Do I find anything that would be a, a weapon? <laughs> he is decent at jujitsu. So. most wanted. It's a lot of really old weapons that may or may not be replicas. I'm gonna give him a crossbow. <gasps> are there any fisticuffs? A crossbow. <laughs> Are Van Helsing this bitch? I'm yeah. picking up ridiculous weapons for everybody else except Let's for all myself. all have D&D weapons. Nope, I have a Ace. gun. <laughs> he, ta- he like takes the crossbow and just it, like it has an arrow in it and he's like not he's holding it out like very dangerously like god what pointing is it at people. <laughs> well we don't do that <laughs> and she lowers it down like so it's pointing at the floor. Uh, Lucy and I found this tomahawk thing. Axe, axe. I found you an axe. I think it's a fire axe. You can put it in the car if you'd like. I'm good with my curse. I just shove it into his hands. Dead eyed at him. The letter opener is not gonna do shit. Okay. Yes, it will. I'm bringing the car up front. Okay. Yeah. So with your uh, small armory that you are now throwing into the back of Basil's Cadillac. No. You uh, get right there to the door. I'll pile into the car and head out towards the address that Morticia sent you. This address you find is towards the south end of West Tilligdom. So you don't have to cross the river or anything. And it's not quite to like the boardwalk area. It's kind of closer to Renegade Park. It's a very like 
normal looking area, suburbs, grocery stores, neighborhoods. And you find her sitting atop her motorcycle, tucked up next to what seems to be an old closed gas station. The area that the address leads you to is very much a average sort of suburbs, grocery stores, houses. Very normal. And it's a little bit north of Renegade Park on the west side of Heligdom. When you find the address, it seems to be a closed down gas station. Around the back end of it, you find a black van that is chilling out near Morticia's motorcycle where she is reclined across it watching the four of you as you drive up and then begin to pile out wielding weapons of mass destruction no they're not mass destruction we look like a D &D crew you look like a larping group yeah we look like we're coming out to larp we're like walking in slow-mo and then you actually take a closer look and it's like oh (laughs) oh oh but also, um, Lindsay is giggling as everybody else gets out with their medieval yeah. weapons. And she that looks like awesome. she giggling. doesn't have anything, but her gun is tucked away. She's just watching you all walk up like, I swear to God, I can't. I can't. Oregano, this is not what I meant when I said come armed. What did you mean then? I didn't mean something a little more subtle, which is not normal for me. But since I have you all here, God damn it. So time to pay your dues. I have a little mission for you. A couple blocks away from here. Actually, let me start off with this. No, let me start off with this. What do you know about the Second Inquisition? Um, I know about the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, are you like, what? Nobody expected it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean, Second Inquisition? That shit's done and gone with. Is it like World War II? Gone no. With. It's. Is it like the Inquisition too? Yes, sort of. I would like of. to notate that Lucian has kind of like <laughs> fallen back and kind of sunken back into the, the back. Stepped of the back day. a little bit and kept his mouth shut. I mean, Lindsay's in the back, so she's like. Um, but you know what? You know who would know something? She looks right at Lucian. Probably some fucker who, like, has a shop and is into that weird shit. You seem older than the rest of them. You haven't had a run-in with them before? He's gonna kind of glance up and, like, lock eyes with uh, Morticia. And you, she can obviously tell that, yes, he, he has. Um, but he's gonna look awkwardly to everyone else. Hmm. I have had a run-in. I don't know a whole lot, but I know that they do hunt kindred. A lot of us call them hunters. It's basically, think like the original Second Inquisition, but now with guns and technology. Van Helsing is real? Lucian, a stink eye. Say that again, DB. Van Helsing is real? Is Blade I, real? What's happening? What I she seems real excited about this for some reason. I have no idea what you're saying right now. <gasps> oh, movie night. Movie I, night. No. Movie night. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. Um so we have a little bit of a second inquisition problem in Hilligum. Not as bad as some other cities. I have heard. Lots of stories about places just overrun. It's typically easy to handle here. But uh, we have a slight problem in that they seem to have a list, and we need that list eradicated. 
they've gotten a inkling of a few people who may or may not be kindred. If they figure out that you are a kindred, you have to go underground. You lose anything you had as a mortal, as your mortal self, as whatever you're masquerading as right now. Gone. Assets, identity, friends, family, anything. Gone. You are functionally dead, at least for the next 10 years, while you hope they forget about you. So that list needs to disappear. And I thought it'd be a fun field trip. Does that mean you're going to supervise? In a way. And she steps back and walks over to the van, reaches up to the uh, the front window, which is open. And you actually see that uh, Damien is sitting in the driver's seat. He kind of reaches around and hands her something. She comes back and says, I'm not going to do this for you, but if shit hits the fan, because it probably will, and I love it when shit hits the fan, please. And she holds out an earpiece. Let me know if you need help. A few blocks from here is one of their strongholds, a base, really. You may want to do this subtly. Personally, I don't even care if you burn the whole place to the ground, but you know how the whole masquerade thing goes. Also, fire tends to be a little problematic. But. Um, how do you know they don't have more than one copy of this list? I don't. Cool, so I'll take care of this one. There's also computers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is there a time limit on this? I mean, you don't want to get stuck in there and down when dawn comes. Ooh. And for the love of God, do not get yourselves captured because we do not need you being experimented on, torture, left out to the sun, a masquerade breach, put on display as a sideshow. We don't need any of that. Do not get yourselves caught. If it means killing everyone in there. Am I understood? I'll take the earpiece. Understood. All right. A question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, where did you get the information from? And I'm just curious. I have people around. Basically, all the anarchs answer to me. And someone caught someone sniffing around who said that they had information. They had names. So we need those names gone. Okie dokie. They caught a hunter who had names, and so they killed that hunter, and now we know that they have names. Do we know who that hunter was? He's dead. That's all I know. Right. Only good hunters are dead hunters, so get on in there, kids. Have some fun. I'm going to pull out my letter opener. <laughs> no. Stussy's just going to turn around and just kind of uh, Did anybody take the, the earpiece? Yeah, Basil who's going to take... Oh, okay, okay, so Basil's got the earpiece. Because if he didn't, I guess Lindsay would have. If, if you yeah. want it, like... That's... Give the raspy voice one. The earpiece. Oh, no, yeah. offense. no, but. that's exactly what I was thinking, though. Honey. Okay, so she um gives you quick directions, like it's around the corner, blah blah blah. It's called the uh, Basilica of Benevolence. And B, like Victor or B? No, B. B. Basilica of Benevolence. Uh, gonna punch it into the GPS and then when everyone's in the car uh, Stasio's gonna head like towards it um, mm-hmm. but drive past it 
like when she's like, okay, that's where it is. And she's going to drive like a block past it. Okay. And then park. So as you, as you pass it, it seems like a, it definitely looks like a church. It's not very new. Seems like maybe it's been around for a couple of decades, but it's also not run down. It doesn't look closed. It actually looks fairly functional. It's got one of those signs out in the front that has the space for letters and messages and stuff. And it has a very generic Bible quote that's been put there. And it's like, come to our Sunday meetings at 10 a.m., blah, blah, blah. The parking lot is empty. And the building itself is completely dark. Dacia was like quiet the entire drive. She's like white knuckling the steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Probably try and be sneaky about this. Uh, Lindsay's actually going to take off her collar to do this. So it's not clinkle clankling as she goes. Okay. Interesting. So, yep. Joseph. I didn't say it out loud. Don't kill me. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> So, Stasia, you pull a block past. Uh, you find, like, a grocery store to park at. Yeah, Off in the corner. I'm gonna go look for, um, for cameras really quick. Uh, the key is to just look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're fine. I'm thinking about doing a premonition to see if we can, if I can find out any information about them. That's fantastic. I'll um, yeah. wait here for further instruction. No, I'm not leaving the car. I need someone to make sure that I don't get caught. So, go. I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna go around the other way, so that they don't see me crossing again. If there is cameras, fair. Okay. I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so Stasi, you go to kind of case the joint real quick. I would say give me um, Stu Wits and awareness because you're you are looking. Okay. And um, if you're trying to do a permission, please give me a rouse check and resolve an aspects. I'm good. Damn. I know. <laughs> One day it won't be. If I do this, I'll just get more hungry. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, five. Five? Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So, how, just for narrative sake, how are you doing this physically? Are you just like sitting there and staring <laughs> into uh, space? Yes. I mean, that's a Raven moment. <laughs> Basically, yes. Remember, she does the little, like, the circles when she's premonishing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She's like, she took off her collar. She hates, but, you know, mm-hmm. she didn't want it making noises. Mm-hmm. Um, Basically, the other two of you in the car, Basil and Lucy, and you see her get that blank look again. It's becoming familiar to you. You said five, correct? Yes. So you see what seems to be the inside of this place. It looks fairly normal. Small sanctuary with old wooden pews. Um, altar at the front with plenty of space for a choir. Doors to the side that you assume open into offices. You see through those doors is a hallway that leads to like the uh, preacher's office library probably a space that looks like it was used for the uh, the youth group a space that looks like it's used for the kids and the uh, daycare and such and in one of the offices you see a wall and on that wall is a cross that has been turned upside down and carved it's like a wooden it's not It's not demonic. It's not threatening or anything. It seems to be a very antique carved cross. And the words sort of carved into like a banner 
sort of thing on it say no one wait hang on, i'm sure i get this right no one comes to the father except through me okay that's it i didn't see any people or anything okay no but you don't know if that's necessarily a live feed right no definitely <laughs> but now i have the layout of the church basically is mm-hmm. what's coming down no you 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 would be pretty confident in being able to find that again cool uh i don't know what the second inquisition's about but like ups down upside down crosses aren't usually a good thing right it depends on the <laughs> cult or the um sect or it has many many sex? meanings sect oh not usually uh, a church thing stasia what was your wits and awareness role um <laughs> One, two, three. Stop! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And is a unk with two stars too? Only if, if there's paired. two of them. Okay. Five. Five? Okay. Can I also get you to real quick roll me dexterity and stealth? Yes. Would ask me to roll something. Just open my book back up. Okay. Uh, dexterity. <laughs> I can tell you how many that is if you need me to. Right. One. Yeah, there's like five dice for you. Yeah. One, two, three, three. Three. Okay. So you cross the last little bit corner of the parking lot, walk across a um, grassy kind of area, and sneak up next to that church through a couple of trees, very small standard trees. You're keeping an eye on it as you circle around. You see several doors. There's a back door with a light over it, but it looks like it's just a safety light. It doesn't look like it's uh, on for any particular reason. The front doors are very dark. It's, they've got a nice stained glass window sort of thing going on in the center of them but it's dark behind it. Moving around outside, you don't see any security cameras. Okay. Um, she's, I'm gonna go up to the door. I'm like kind of stay in the shadow as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just check to see if the door is open. Just like cat, like really quick check to see if the door is unlocked. Mm-hmm. It's got one of those big handles that with the, the thumb click. Mm-hmm. It is not uh, unlocked. It is locked. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's uh, any other doors that are less like... There's the, there's the back door. It was much more like a normal door with just okay. a little turn handle. That's cool. the one that had the light over it. Okay, if that one is um, unlocked, or she's going to check that, see if it's unlocked. If it's not unlocked, she is going to uh, pick it. Okay, that one is locked. Uh, Yeah, she's going to pick it really quick, heighten senses to see if she hears anybody or anything like that. Wait about five minutes to see if anything like happens, because usually security systems usually about Mm -hmm. that time. And if nothing happens, then she's gonna make uh, leave it unlocked and go back to the car. Where okay. At. So roll me dexterity and larceny. Budge. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. No, it's okay. I got one skull. Mm-hmm. One star. Mm-hmm. And then one, one, two, three, four regular. All right. So you got so five. I, so the skull doesn't matter. Yeah. Or not. No, three. Three regular. Sorry. Okay. So Either way. Um, it's not a very uh, complicated lock. It is just a normal turn lock with the keyhole in it. It's very simple to pick. Uh, you pop it very easily. You step back into the shadows, watch, wait, and listen with heightened senses. You hear cars go by, but nothing that stops, pulls in, or anything. 
You don't hear any movement inside. Okay, one more thing to add to it. She's going to step inside and see if she feels that heavy feeling she felt in the other church at St. Cassius. Just like in the door, like she's going to slip in and just kind of wait and I broke the storyteller. No, no, sorry. Storyteller's loading. Uh, Storyteller's lagging. So you pull it open with a very small creak, and it seems to open into a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Just a little simple kitchen. And you don't really feel it here. At least not in this room. Good enough for me. (laughs) Johnny Depp walk back out. Okay, so you make your way back to the car? Yeah. Okay. So, after a little while... I want to uh, sneak back in, though. I want to sneak back over and just be, like, in the window, like... I would love the idea that, like, Lindsay comes back from her premonition and looks over and you're in the window next to her. No, I'm on Lucy. I'm behind Lucy, and Lucy's staring at her. So when Lindsay comes back and looks at Lucy, and she sees Lucy, and then me in the window, like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to make art of that. Uh... <laughs> Open the door, and I'm gonna scoot on into the back with everybody. Scoot, scoot, scoot. I have. I know the layout of the church. Good. I unlocked it. Cool. Lucian? Yes. He, he made sure I didn't get hurt. You're doing a great job, bud. Yay, team! So Hazel. how are we doing this? Are we just going to sneak in and look for a piece of paper with names on it? or? Oh, sweet summer child. Piece of paper? Old man, what the fuck? But what if it is on a piece of paper, though? I mean, yes, we'll look for paper as well, but it's probably going to be backed up on a computer. Okay, I just wanted to clarify, because... I, don't I know. know. Inquisition? I mean, maybe they still have things in fucking paper. Like, that seems like something they would fucking do. I feel like, like vampire ink. hunters would have better technology than just ink Listen, and paper? <laughs> I've watched Supernatural, and they kind of fucking suck. No offense. I no, mean... A lot of offense taken to the Winchesters. Yeah. The apocalypse, like three they days. weren't backed by like I, this feels like they're backed by a church here though because they're set up in a church and is church got money church? though. Is it a Catholic church? No it's a Protestant church actually. Ew I don't know I'm scared. It's a different kind of church. Maybe I didn't feel right because of some. I went in there so what? When I went to St. Cassius Church okay when I was in there there was like this weird heavy. She sounds feeling. like a bitch. <laughs> She kind of was. I don't know if you've ever heard of St. Cassiah, but I will have you know that my family has been going to that church for generations, and I was this close to being named Cassiah. You put some respect on that name, okay? (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, Star. (laughs) Couldn't help myself. (laughs) So... That's canon now. Stasi's name was almost Kasaya. Hey, um, so are you guys going to go into the church before I die? Yes, of course yes. we are, but we're okay. gonna sneak you sneak. Plan. Okay. Um, I don't know if that heavy feeling that I felt inside of that church was because of maybe because I'm religious or, or if like maybe this is a really different religion or, or maybe the maybe Listen. it's We'll figure it out when we fucking get there. At this okay, point, I'm just telling you, it's just it can get overwhelming. It's a weird pressurey feeling. So just be aware. It, are are you done, Lindsay? You said you know the layout of the church, yes. Yes. And you think that this is probably on some computer backup drive thing? Yes. Not just Did paper. I see any computers? Some really simple ones. Like, uh, simple yeah. looking ones can also be very high tech ones. 
uh it's all about disguises um <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i can i can lead us through this church um there is a room with an upside down cross but it's fine it's a church that Probably said not. star remind me what it said no one comes through the father no one comes to the father but through me no one comes through the father except no one comes to the father except through me god damn it <laughs> they, were, they had to scratch yes. some of it out they it, fucked up it's fine shouldn't be an issue but you have the layout of the church so is there a um like a janitor's closet or like a supply closet somewhere in here oh no Premonition again. Great. I'm getting, oh, out, of Fantastic. I'm getting out of the car. <laughs> it probably did. Welcome back. Wait, uh, okay. Oh, baby. I'm I'm singing. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Uh. <laughs> now that's an emoji right there. <laughs> yes. Someone screenshot that. You'll be so mad. <laughs> Oh, oh no, lost completely well, lost. Oh. Well, oh. Okay, well, now DB is basil. I can make that fix. That's not. Whoa, whoa. No, now, now she's all the way up there. Uh, okay, so. Now we're in a. Uh, that one's there. Anastasia. Uh, that one goes there. Yep. I like how my name's there. Oh, not oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh. DB. It's out on my name, so it just says Nastia. <laughs> I'm here for it. This is about as well as our little raid's gonna go. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm sorry if that question was too much for you. It's fine. We don't need this. It's let's just move on. Hello. Hi. Hello. I can't we can't see, see anybody. We can't see you. There we see you. Are. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I had to turn off my camera and turn it back on. So here we are. Sorry. Uh, okay. Is there a janitor's closet in this church? Sure. Like you saw a door that could have been one. Why? That's what Lucian was asking about when you guys Lucian, cut out. Why? If if we could, if we could go there first. I have an idea to take care of the um, electronics. You want to share with the class? It's quite simple, actually. Um, if we can find us some copper wire, an iron rod, um, and like a disposable camera. Hey, Lucian, um, we would have needed all that stuff now. I don't think this is like a items hunting mission like in a video game i do think that between stasi and i we could probably find the list on their computer we can just take their whole hard drive out of, out of there well we can do sure. that we can all what? but I th i'm also I worried about probably the easier i'm just going to um hold on to my pen knife and um if you need me to stab someone shout okay lucian you were helpful you can be more helpful than this. Just let's just yourself. go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. You're the history buff. I'm sneaking through this fucking church without them if I have so, to. Right. I'm through uh, through the dark parking lot. The four of you go skittering. Stasia leads you to the uh, small back door with the warm orange light that ha hangs over it and you open it inside which is that simple kitchen sort of lit by the light that's outside but only barely and you see a door that leads to a hallway and Lindsay, you would recognize this as that main hallway that seemed like everything is kind of coming off of i'm gonna heighten senses and i'm gonna take the lead as i go okay I'm gonna um, be right behind her kind of like on, hand on shoulder because i'm going to be looking for cameras or anything fair it is very dark there are no lights on that's fine 
That's why I'm heightening senses to see better. Heightened senses does not allow you to see in the dark. Oh, does it not? I that is a completely then, different. There are two other will, powers that allow I'm you to do sorry. that. I'm sorry. I was trying to move faster. It's anyway, okay. I'll do hearing then. Shit. Okay. I'll I'm just saying. Fucking yeah. phone light, I guess. Somebody, somebody's it's going to need a light wall. source. Okay. I would be, I have the, have the light behind, like right here. So that way. It's blinding if anyone's in front of it. So Stasi is holding up a light. Yeah. As you guys scooby doo your way into this hallway. All we need is a dog. So if you bring Diana. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Same. Uh, so where are you heading? Uh, I'm going to try and head to that uh, office that had the upside down cross. Okay. It seems to be the, uh, not quite the, the head preacher, but like his second, you know, the the guy who does a lot more of like the admin stuff sort of thing there there's you know photos on the walls um a lot of inspirational prayer paraphernalia that sort of thing and you do see the desk with a computer from like the early 2000s and mm. on the wall you do see that upside down cross I'm not going to touch that. I feel like that's a bad omen thing. Uh, well, everyone give me wits and awareness. A wits and Good awareness. for me. I think actually, I think well, I if, up the shit. So yeah. Well, and if you have heightened senses on, then also oh. add your auspects. Oh, it's a lot of dice. That's a good roll for me. Wits <laughs> and awareness. Oh, Lord. Oh. It's only two successes for me. Okay. Lindsay blowing us away. I got four. Okay. 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 One, two, three, four, five, and two stars with the Alex. Nine. That's with the stars. Okay. So five. So I think Stassi got nine too. If you get two two onks with the stars, that is four. And if you got five single onks, that is five. So that makes it nine total. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. So both of you got nine. Right. Even on the red one, right? <laughs> is that a single one or was it a fang? It's a single one. Okay, then yeah. that's normal. It's fine. Okay. I made a chart. Now put it in the chat. <laughs> I just have to keep rolling to figure this out. Well, I can't keep telling you how to how to read your dice. I'm sorry. So, uh, Lucian, I think you think this place is haunted. I think you're. I think you're like, oh hey, knows. wait a minute. This is a uh, this is a couple decades old. Uh, there might be um might be some ghosts here. So you're starting to look around and keep an eye out for orbs and, and movement out. and shadow people. EVP detector. <laughs> I can add it with you. No. <clears throat> Basically, as soon as the EVP monitor comes out, you're like, oh, hey, what's going on? That's the thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girl is paying attention as usual. <laughs> Seems to be the uh, theme here. You guys got regular crits, not messy. Okay. So I'm just making sure. Um, <clears throat> there is oddly no security system in here. You don't see cords. You don't see cameras. You don't see mics. But the computer does seem to be on. And looking around and kind of taking a glance at that weird cross on the wall, you realize that there's a scuff mark where it looks like it would turn back downwards. Yes. Secret tunnel. And Secret I'm gonna, tunnel. Yep. I'm going to crank that bitch. So you turn it. Mm -hmm. And you actually feel the wall. And it's like it's set between two bookshelves. You actually feel the wall set back and then slide to the side. Is it loud? And no. And Thank God. There is a hidden stairwell leading downwards. I didn't think that would actually happen. This is so fucking cool. I, hey, Lucian? 
Yes. Can you oh. put that away? What the fuck, dude? Yes, actually. Sorry. But also, are there ghosts in here? Wouldn't you know? <laughs> I, uh, I'm just turning it off because it's not fun anymore. I'm going down the stairs, Star. Yeah. So... It seems like a fairly normal set of stairs. They're made of concrete. They have the rubber. They're more modern. They have the rubber kind of padding on the front of the front on the front of the stairs. There's a there's a handrail. It's oh. OSHA. Oh, good. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely made to be safe oh. and safe and modern and normal. It looks like it's something that was added after the fact. Straw didn't build this. Got it. Straw did not build this. This is the second Inquisition. They are not vampires. They actually care about OSHA. Do you, do you think they have weird robes still? Do you? Do you think? They probably have weird robes. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to keep going down sneaky. Yeah. sneaky it's stuff. not a It's not a super long stairwell. It only goes down for one floor. And it takes a turn and leads into another hallway. This one has more fluorescent lighting, a tile floor. It's a lot more facility looking than the homey sort of old building feeling of the church upstairs. I'm going to keep my heightened senses up to make sure I can hear people. And the lights are on sort of dimly. It's like a, almost like a safety lighting kind of feature, but they're not on completely brightly. There are several doors lining this hallway and another door at the far end. Okay. Do I hear anything? Give me what's an awareness and aspects. Four. Only four? Damn. Yeah, I didn't roll well. You were listening, and now you have the uh, added buzz of the fluorescent lighting Yeah. to deal with. The walls are very thick. They also seem to be made of concrete. Fuck. But you don't feel like you hear anything other than the shifting of your friends behind you as they all come down the stairs and then wait. Okay. I'm going to start slowly moving through this hallway. Okay. To the first door. And I want to like listen through it. Yeah. I just expect this bitch to like open up and I fall in. I'm going to check for traps, whatever the equivalency of that is <laughs> in this world. Um, give me wits and awareness. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay. You are looking through and looking around, checking for traps, essentially, but for Stasia, that means something different, and you spot a camera. She's going to squeeze uh, Lindsay's uh, shoulder. And like slightly pull her back a few steps and point to the camera. I'm not gonna look directly at it because that will just like, they'll definitely know who I am. Uh, not that it's not hard to see who I am, but th they can't get full facial if I'm not looking at it. Uh, I'm keeping my head down, basically, is mm -hmm. what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, Do I shoot it? Okay, hear me out. That's gonna okay. be a really loud bang. And yeah. Concrete walls. It's gonna yeah. echo, and it's gonna one be ear splitting for us, and then also like travel. Or we could have fuck boy over here shoot it. Are I could shoot it with my crossbow. Are there any exposed cords? Not from where you are. No. It seems like it goes up through the ceiling. 
you're gonna shoot it with your crop I, I that was a joke like i gave that to you as a joke wait we were gonna go into potential battle and you gave him a weapon as a joke as a crossbow as a joke yes i'm gonna level the crossbow and shoot the camera <laughs> i mean do you, I, uh, is that considered a firearm it's dex and melee that's four dice. Okay. I didn't know if that would be considered a firearm. That's really funny, though. It's No, it's considered a weapon. Weapon. Ah, ah, okay. Well, it might be considered a firearm. I'm, I don't know. It's a projectile. I'm, I'm, ruling it, I'm ruling it as melee. Yeah, no. You with the gun, him with the crossbow, Stasia with the fucking sword that's basically almost as tall as her. Lucian had a an axe but i think he only brought the fucking no, paper I, I brought both okay good and he's got an axe uh and cass oh god R- remember you can roll willpower yeah i'm gonna do that uh i got a messy crit <laughs> i mean so... i want someone to get shot <laughs> No, absolutely <laughs> not. My he shoots, he no. shoots through okay. somebody and gets it. Four successes. Okay, nice. So I nice. would take. I've taken that oh, sacrifice. Good. If you so, so <laughs> y'all are over there in the background, just like you gave him a fucking joke weapon with bickering as usual, and base was just like, nah, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, and Van Helsing's this shit through the lens of the camera and the crossbow bolt the one crossbow bolt you had yeah. is oh. lodged deep into that camera and that camera is not working anymore cool i Definitely bet it's gonna... gonna look so fucking cool on camera though just seeing <laughs> okay let's uh go. i'm gonna hold on before i will stop stasia this time and and I want to try and listen because if somebody was watching those cameras and saw that happen, they'll be coming or they'll be setting something off. You are, see, how much did you get earlier? Four or five? Four. Four. Yeah. Beyond the buzz of the fluorescent lights, you feel like you hear something else, almost like a radio, another tinny, like if you ever, if I don't, not everyone hears this, but when someone turns on a TV in that very specific sort of staticky sound, it's a very, it's, it's very, very subtle. Yes. It's almost like you feel it more than you hear it. That's sort of yes. what you hear. And then you start to hear movement in one of the rooms down the hall. Uh, can I try and open one of the doors closest to us? Uh, yeah, the one that you were standing in front of when you decided to do all this stuff uh, is open. Okay, can I peek in? Do I see anybody? It's dark. Fuck. When I open the door, do I hear anything? Not in this room, no. I'm going to motion everybody to come in and then hide in the darkness, I guess. Okay. So you motion everybody to come in and I assume you all sort of pile in. Yep. Yes. Um, well, Stasi is going to go like behind the door and then like she's going to like point everybody to go somewhere like strategically at least hidden that we could basically can everyone give me dexterity and awareness I don't like, I don't like that. that yeah does my aspects have anything to do with this Fuck. okay so oh, i'm actually really good at that it's not a terrible role it's just not the best again two successes for me mm-hmm. oh wow uh... I'm gonna re-roll. Okay. I'm gonna use Yeah. Better. Uh, Stasi, what was yours? Three. Three. 
Five? Six. Oh, six. Okay. Uh, so you kind of begin to scatter. Lucian, your foot catches on something metal, heavy, and you trip and fall. <laughs> and there's a clang. There's a very heavy clang that sounds... It Ow. sounds... It ha- it's a very specific sound of something almost like maybe a dumbbell. Are we in a weight room? He's getting them gains under the church. <laughs> this is where they exercise their demons. <laughs> Father Joel got swole. Oh my All right. fucking god. Well, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. I am uh, out of here. Um, yeah, that was fun, guys. <laughs> pick myself up and just stand in the center of the room and look at the doorway. Okay. As you are doing that, you guys do hear movement outside. You hear footsteps, two, maybe three sets, and a couple of voices. Lucian, I'm going to pull him into the darkness by the wall. Dead. Okay. So what you hear is a couple of male voices, maybe middle-aged basically saying what's going on one of the cameras is out thought i saw a movement to be honest i was looking at twitter so i don't know <laughs> try not to laugh and the other the other one's like god damn it frank of course it's frank. To- frank frank, <laughs> frank. <laughs> and they um are, one of them heads upstairs and the other two that you hear go back down the hall and you hear one kind of hovering next to where the uh, camera was and you hear the other one start going into one of the doorways. Hold our position until they move or either come into the room. Um. Okay. <laughs> My prepared action will be behind the door. If they, if someone comes in, she's gonna teep them as hard as she fucking can, and close the door. <laughs> so, just okay, straight teep. What the fuck is teep? Keep with foot forward, push. Forward. Okay, it's like a push, but with your foot. Okay, basically just kick, shut, and okay, deal with that shit. So it's a while it is an agonizingly long while where you hear you hear one of the voices go is that a fucking arrow it's a bolt you idiot the other one says you know the the other one's like (laughs) fucking different who the fuck and you hear him walk over and like it sounds like they're both kind of looking at it for a second and they're like, which camera? What? How? And then they both walk away into one of the other rooms. Can you lock them into one? Of, can you lock them into one of those rooms? Yeah, yeah. Girls are gonna sneak out to do this. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye out for the other guy that like went upstairs. Okay. So girls are going to stealthy stealth out of the room to try and lock the other lock those men into that room. Uh, boys, you doing anything? So Basil, how's your night going? <laughs> I finally let go of Lucy and just like, <laughs> oh, that good, eh? This is fun. Is it? This is fun. <laughs> yes, um, we are aware. All these years, and we're gonna die in a church. Come on. I'm gonna die in here. I mean, we're already dead, so I guess we would like final die or something. That's not the point. We are going to make it out of here. Already? It'll be fine. <laughs> I have one crossbow bolt and it's gone. Well, see, the good thing about that is you can you can retrieve that bolt and use it again. How high so, is the camera? Uh, it was like eight feet off the ground, nine feet off the ground. You could okay. jump and get it if you really tried. Hop right, on someone's shoulders. Up. Yes, lift yeah. you up. 
Um, Touch that booty. You raised me up. Girls, <laughs> girls, please give me dexterity and stealth. <laughs> oh no, I don't think I'm good at that. Ah! Uh, dexterity and do I have any? I have nothing. It's stealth. This is when y'all need a Nosferatu, guys. Four. But I do need to go to the bathroom really quick. Okay. But I can wait for the scene. So two. Yep. Okay. So from what you could hear, it sounded like it was across the hall and down a couple of doors. So you guys sneak over, stepping as quietly as possible, past that wrecked camera and to the door where you can now hear their voices on the other side. What are you doing? I'm going to take out my uh, handy dandy <laughs> kit. A uh, lock picking I'm, kit? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and like break the lock. So, so jam it. You're trying to jam it. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me dexterity and lost then. Watching the upstairs. Watching the stairs as you stand there. Yeah. I'll glance back at the other door behind us, um, too. Could I also heighten my sense? Because I, I don't want them to hear it. So, like, kind of like when I put it in there, like, it does it. Sorry. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> when I wiggle, does it seem mm-hmm. like this is going to make noise? <laughs> You, I, I will adjust the difficulty for that. Got it. So, Jesus. yep. Just uh, please roll. Okay. Um. What is the messy crit? <laughs> it's, are any uh, of them red? Are any of the are any of the crit criticals with the fangs? Yes, I have one crit, one fang. Do you have red. a star to go with it? Yes. Okay. So one, two, three. Four. All right. So wait. So the the fang and the star together create four successes. Four successes. Do you have any others at, beyond that? Yes. Two regular ones. Okay. So that's six, six. total. Okay. Messy crit. I'm not hmm. getting it back, am I? Yeah, basically what happens is it's still quiet. Jingling with the lock is not loud. Super loud. And so you're playing with you're playing with it and you rake it and you're trying to get it and you keep like unlocking it and it's starting to get to the point where it's starting to get to the point where it might be noticeable and you're starting to panic and you're starting to panic and then you just shove the lock pick in there and it's jammed as hell. But it also made a noise, and that lockpick is not coming back. Question. Is it a regular door? Does it have, like, window? It doesn't have a window or anything. It's okay. just a fairly normal door. The uh, You both do start to hear the people inside who had been like, where the hell? And you, you could hear them uh, talking a little bit. If you were paying attention, it sounded like they were looking through the footage to see when that camera got blown what happened when that camera got blown and you hear them say who the fuck are those guys and then and they're like what was that the fuck was that and the door handle starts to jiggle okay i'm gonna like mouth kind of to Lindsay, like in a very hushed whisper we can pretend like we're kids that were dared to do this The voices on the inside of the uh, door are starting yeah. to uh, panic. Hear me out. I will go run away like I'm a kid, and then you guys go the other way. No. They'll, be chasing, they'll be chasing after me. Are you fucking insane? No, I'll lose them and then trail back. I don't just just trust me on this. I used to do this all the time. Sake. Well, the door that is jiggling in front of you now is not opening no but you hear the two of them like starting to push and pull at it and get a little more violent with the door 
I say we go into one of the other rooms and find this fucking note. Okay, all right. Go do that. I will just keep my eyes on this. If they come out there, I'm going to fucking run. Fair. Fair. I'm going to go to the door at the end of the hallway. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go it's, tell the other guys. Be like, Okay, so Stasia, you jump into the other room with the, uh, the guys. So guys, what are you guys doing? They're having a powwow. They're just loving this. What? Wait, what's going on? So to clarify, both individuals went into There's the other two, room? There are two individuals stuck in a room. One went upstairs. Okay. And Stasia has now, like, poked her head back in the door. So the one went back up the stairs that we came down. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back, Basil. Where are you going? I'm just going to go handle that one. I can handle that one. You're a... <laughs> That's beside the point. And we'll discuss that later. Excuse me. And I'm going to go out the door and follow up the steps quietly and find the individual that went up the steps. Mm-hmm. So that leaves Basil in that room and Stasia at the door. And the one guy's still stuck. Two no, the, there were two like, guys he's... stuck in a room. Okay. Yes. I can't hear you, cat. Where the fuck is Lucian? He said he's going to go handle things, which I really, I don't, got a lot of faith in that. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start going up the stairs. Oh my God. Just go, go be a distraction. Okay. Just go be a distraction. Don't get shot. Just fucking keep them busy. Okay. Just keep them fucking busy. So as, as the two of you are freaking out about Lucian and Lindsay has walked to the end of this hallway to open the door. The door that Lindsay is about to open opens. Oh, is there a way for me to like shift behind it? You are walking to it and it's okay. an open inwards. And so the door, the door opens and a man steps out, not clad in any sort of military gear or anything. He just seems to be dressed normally, button up shirt, pants. Cool. Stasi, I'm just he, a distinguished lady in a jacket. Uh, Stasi, he looks familiar as he steps out and is surprised to see Lindsay there and his eyes are drawn by Stasia and Basil panicking over in the corner. I'm going to put on awe. Keep him here. (laughs) Keep him here. (laughs) I'm sorry, you can't be down here. Who, Who are you? I, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of lost. It was a dare. We got dared. It was a dare. I'm sorry. Oh, please don't. Please, please. I already have a record. Please do not call the cops. I am so sorry. Keeps glancing over. Anna? What are you doing here? Fuck is Anna. This is Josh. Josh. Yeah. Like, like I said, it was, it was a dare. It was kind of like a bad thing. I'm sorry. It was like a whole joke that there was like a cult underneath the church, and and then and they had a little bit. He's, was. he's looking between the three of you, and his face is falling, and he's starting to understand, and he starts to reach around behind him. I am okay. gonna fucking no. clock him with yeah. this fucking gun. <laughs> okay. I uh, give me fucking strength and. Are you, are you using the gun? Because that's melee. You're using it as a weapon to punch him? I mean, I don't know what else. To, I don't want to, like, kill him yet. So, I guess. Which means I have one die? Yeah, so brawl is without a weapon. Melee is with a weapon. I guess I'll do brawl instead. I'll just fucking, here we go, punching people. Called it. Fucking called it. Oh, here I go punching people again. <laughs> uh, yeah? Strength of brawl? Yeah. So, okay. We like this. Oh, two dice. Are we like this? 
Oh no, <gasps> did you, did you do? split a skull, you bitch? What is that crit? Die! Four. Try not to shoot the man, but it said I'm either fucking his skull up or whatever. Do you have any willpower left? Oh, we all do have advantage from earlier. I don't. No, I did it earlier. Sure to... it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh. If I re-roll and it's bad, he'll hurt me. <laughs> Only one of you can definitely take a punch. So you guys watch Lindsay haul off and clock this man to the point where he basically goes fucking spinning and drops to the floor. Can I check his pulse? No, stop. Oh, he's yeah, he's still there. alive. He's still oh, alive. Oh, God. But, like, you got him hard on the side of the face and he is out cold. I kiss his head and go, night night, and go into the room. <laughs> yeah, Basil had, like, the the crossbow up to clock him as well. It was just like, well. <laughs> um, the, the one door is still as like, and it sounds like now they're trying to bang against it. Trying okay. to get it open. Meanwhile, I'll, pull him, I'll pull him in with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, upstairs, Lucian. Yes. You have walked up these stairs to try and find this other guy. Mm-hmm. Do I see him at all? It's you. Well, you come back out in that office, and you don't see him immediately. I'm gonna leave the. I'm looking specifically for that person. I'm just gonna move Give from me room to room. Wits and investigation. Wits and investigation. And investigation. That's not a bad role for me. And are you sneaking or are you just walking? Walking. I'm not sneaking. Okay. Uh, that is three successes. Okay. So you spot him in the sanctuary. You open one of the doors very carefully and you see him sort of pacing towards the front door amongst the pews. This is... When you open the door to this room, it's got a different feeling than you've had before. If you had to breathe, it would be very hard to. It's oppressive. It's tight. I'm going to look around. Are there any shadows that look darker or? No. And it's not the same way that you felt when being grabbed by Desdemona. This is different. I'm going to shake that feeling off as best I can, and I'm, I'm going to head towards him. Okay, well, he's got his back to you because he's walking towards the uh, the doorway. Looks like he's probably going to poke his head around and check. Are you going to get his attention? Yeah, I'm, like, clicking my heels to kind oh, of... Oh, so you're, you're walking loudly. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. walking towards him. To it's, 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 it's carpeted, so it's harder, but you, you, you step loudly enough to where... He kind of starts a little bit, and he turns around, and he's got his hand at his waist. I'm going to, uh, when I see that happen, I'm going to activate Daunt. Okay. And then as soon as I get to a place where I don't have to shout at him, I can just speak a normal voice. Oh, yeah, it's not a huge room. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to look at him like dead. I'm going to lock eyes, and I'm going to say, if you have friends or family or anyone you care about, it is best that you leave here. And never come back. I'm gonna need you to make charisma and intimidation and add a dot add a die for using dot. Oh, okay. Charisma, that's not a bad and intimidation and add a die for my dot. Mm-hmm. Eight. Damn. <laughs> you didn't stand a chance. Um, so as soon as you activate Don, he takes a step back. And it looks like an older guy, maybe. And it's dark in here, so it's hard to tell. But, you know, maybe 
50s, 60s, something like that. And kind of a police type, but in normal clothes. And he's he has his hand at his waist at a belt that you can see that has a holstered gun. And he takes a step back. And he's looking at you with a mixture of concern and like he's going to try and speak back to you. And then he just takes a second, has a second thought, turns and walks to the front door. He unlocks it, steps out, closes it and leaves. I'm going to turn around and walk back down the staircase quietly Mm -hmm. this time looking for my coterie. When you get down to that hallway there, well, actually, Stasia and Besa, where did you go? (laughs) After Lindsay punched this man and then dragged his body into the room after her. I went after the body uh, because she's dragging (laughs) him and... Are we fucking like this? Why are we fucking like this? I'm I took care of a the, problem. I'm, I'm picking up the legs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not him picking mind. him up. It's literally dragging him Don't across drag the him. ground. Come on. He's a nice Bay, guy. He's so fine. I he's going to know anyways. Basil, are you going with them or? I'm going to go back and check on Lucy. And I think after the guy got clocked. I... Okay. <laughs> God. So- Going, going up, Suze, you would run into Lucien about at the at the uh, office. Is everything Gucci? Handled. One less person to worry about. Huh. Great. What's going on down there? One less person to worry about down there. Great. All right. <laughs> so now we just have to find this list. <sighs> Yeah, uh, girls are that way. Great, and the list? We we don't know, okay. Did we check we're, all the other rooms down it? here, or? Well, Lindsay's the one with the, you know, premonitions and stuff. She seems to know what she's doing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Lindsay has a gun, right? And computers are not impervious to firearms so could we not just pew, pew, everything in here and leave uh well i mean thank god for two all, people uh, who are actually like millennials in this fucking group i did that character voice why Lindsay's not there <laughs> okay so are you guys going back downstairs yeah, yeah, we're gonna meet up with the others. Okay. Well, when you when you get back downstairs into that hallway, the door that those two men are in is almost off of its hinges. They are clearly slamming into it back and forth, one after the other. And I think that door is not going to hold much longer. Should we prepare for that? I mean, I got nothing better to do. Have my letter opener. I'm gonna hoist my crossbow in a fist. Someone's gonna get beat. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So after a moment or two, you guys standing there at the ready with your makeshift weapons, <laughs> the door finally gives way and comes almost completely off of its hinges, swings outwards. And two men of about similar age to, one of them is younger, and one of them is similar age to the man that uh, Lucian saw upstairs, come barreling out. Both of them have tactical vests and holstered weapons in their um, belts. And they both come stumbling out, looking around, and they see you two, and they're like, 
Who the fuck are you guys? I'm gonna pull up Daunt. Okay. And they, uh, so you're suddenly very intimidating. I'm just going to go at him. I'm gonna smack one of them down. With a, uh, with your fucking crossbow? Yep. Okay, he's gonna try and shoot you. So, make strength in melee. Oh, this is gonna go super well. <laughs> I'm right Do I get one of those rerolls? <laughs> I'm gonna use a willpower. No. One. <laughs> oh. Well, I got nothing. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I'm bad, <but> you're worse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, so you go at this man with the fucking crossbow and he fumbles and pulls his gun shoots into the wall as he's also trying to dodge at the same time and you manage to like just hit his arm and throw it to the side meanwhile the other guy is also going to try and shoot you lucian are you going to do anything i would like to activate cloud memory i would like to activate (laughs) shut up um (laughs) sorry it's going to be kind of tricky since you are in combat now I suppose I could stab him with my pen knife, but no. I would like to try to make him forget this happened. Okay, let me check and see if there's any kind of ruling for, like, doing this on the fly. Because I feel like you need to be focused on him to do it. Forget that we just attacked your friend and you were locked in a room. He just keeps reliving reliving the same 10 seconds over, over and over. Hey, oh, is it guys? that short? I thought it was like for a few minutes. Like you could do it for a few minutes. I don't think it is. You can make the victim forget the current moment as well as the last few minutes enough to mask a superficial me- uh, beating or a chance meeting. Uh, uh-uh. Crowding the memory of a resisting victim requires a charisma plus dominate versus wits and resolve. So I would roll the wits and resolve. No, you roll the charisma and dominate. Ah, okay. Well, that I, I'm good with that charisma. Okay. Dominate. That's a four. four. Okay. So uh, you win. So okay. this guy starts to reach for his gun. You, Jedi mind trick him. Say, forget this happened. And a haziness comes over his eyes and he blinks at you in confusion. And then the gunshot goes off. And he looks over. He's like, what the hell? What the fuck is going on? And he reaches for the gun again. He's going to try and shoot Basil. (laughs) I'm going to go Do we hear this from beyond the door? Oh, yeah. You was gonna open the door. Can I shoot one of these guys? So what I will say is that you found yourself in a room with a computer in a desk. Cool. Stasia, take yeah. care of that. I'll deal with fuckheads back there. Okay. So, Basil, are you going to try and dodge the one guy shooting you? Yes. Okay, so roll me um, dexterity athletics. Okay. Lindsay, dexterity and firearms. Three successes. Well, Ty goes to the act of kindred. Oh, you dodged. So... His bullet just barely flies. You feel it as it goes past, as another gunshot rings out in this very small, very loud 
hallway all of a sudden and then a third shot rings out as Lindsay aims for the guy who is not dodging because he's trying to shoot basil you said you got four nice you get him real good in the side and he yells out and clutches at it and looks over at you and uh you hear he he you see him reach for his side there as well as uh what I just got a notification that our stream disconnected, but it looks like we're still live. So I think we're good. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt that. No, you're good. Uh, if we are, if we disconnect, I want to stop. Uh, you're still talking in the nope. same way okay, that you yeah, were so going. We're good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, we got a raid though. Ooh. Hey. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the raid. This if is he's a great time to hop in. If he's reaching for something else, I'm shooting him again. Okay, go for it. Both both of them start to reach for... Actually, the one guy who didn't even... The one guy's about to get his head beaten in by a fucking crossbow. I'm going to roundhouse kick him. I'm not even going to crossbow him. Like... Yes? Five messy crit. So, uh, Basil, if you're going to kick him, roll me athletics and strength. Okay. No, strength and brawl. Shit. Sorry, strength and brawl. Oh, boy. Okay. Sorry. How much willpower do I have? Oh, boy. That's no, not. Uh, what is... Okay, so I only had my, my two red die. Mm -hmm. uh and it oh, was you can't two. use roll you can't use willpower to re-roll hunger dice no. it's only black dice oh that's good okay uh two red die with the fangs you also got a messy crit <laughs> i mean that doesn't seem so bad in this uh in this context <laughs> oh, I, just, I just lit some incense to uh just clear the air. I clean <laughs> myself. I I'm sorry. I'm I undoing the wish I made. My bad. Okay. So, um, Lindsay, you're, uh, you see him reach for something. You realize he's going for a radio. You shoot through his hand into the radio. And that radio is busted. There's a crackle of static and it's gone. And he screams as there's a hole in his goddamn hand. Basil, you want to keep trying that? Basil, meanwhile, this guy has been completely thrown off balance by you attacking him with a crossbow, not shooting him, hitting him with the crossbow, and you roundhouse kick him upside the head, and he also goes down. Very similarly to poor Josh a few moments ago. Pitch had it coming. So this man is on the ground. The other one is holding his hand and screaming. I'm going to walk over to him. And he he looks up at you just like he looks fucking pissed. He's like, y'all are blanks, aren't you? I will uh, automatically turn on Daunt mm -hmm. as I squat in front of him mm -hmm. and go, of course we are. Where's your little list? I'm doing some crazy eyes too. <laughs> With the gun like at his head. So, oh my God, Jesus fuck. That's gotta be charisma with intimidation with Daunt. I'm gonna give you an extra die because you have a fucking gun to his head. Oh god, charisma's so good. I know. And so is intimidation. You guys are all party faces. And you said with Daunt, which is an oh oh fuck me, Star. I almost don't have enough dice for this. No, I know you don't want that. <laughs> Ten. Fuck. All right. So you are terrifying this man standing over him in front of him, gun to his head, daunt up, just shot him through the hand. 
and he goes he's he's clutching his hand and he goes from being tough guy like oh y'all fucking blanks to please don't kill me please don't kill me give us what we want i'll forget who are you who you all are you don't have to worry about anything i'm not gonna just let me get out of here please we have one thing that we want it's on the computer all the information we have is on the computer can you log us into it yeah i grab him and pull him into the room. okay yank him up pull him into the room he sees josh and he goes ah don't worry don't look at him look at me Josh is on the computer just kind of trying to hack into this right now and it's just yes jesus (laughs) yes dazzy you don't need to you don't need to do that yes let me... I gently push her like swir- swirly you just, chair like, take away. Take the rolly chair and move it. Yeah, yeah and I. Just... <laughs> uh, what's your name? Uh, Caleb. Caleb, do what I want. <laughs> and he, with the one hand, starts to type. So it takes a little bit longer, but his, and his hands are shaking. Don't care. As he takes she it a while stops. to. She's gonna stop him at one point and look him in the eye and just be like. She is terrifying. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. Because <laughs> it's, it's not just you on the line. It's my little brother. <laughs> and she like squeezes his hand really quick and like turns away and like like just gets up and goes in the corner and just starts being like pretending to be nervous. You're so mean. He's only eight, dude. Like, just don't fuck this up. You're so and, mean. And don't call the cops. Just don't fuck this up, man. He's eight. He's just like hypervalent, uh, uh, trying to type, but like keeps messing up and keeps having to back up. And he's just trying to type. And he's so it takes. Superhero. It's Iron Man. So it's taking a bit longer than it probably should have because this poor man is trying so hard to type. Here's the thing. Stasia is smiling just like as she's just pretending to be. You and Lindsay like share a glance for a second. Yeah. And he pulls up, he pulls up a file for her and it has a list of documents. He's, Can we see that, what names that's, are on there? That's what we got. You see... Let's see. Going through it. Glancing through, you... A, a lot of the... Rec- several of the names you don't recognize. Fair. So either they aren't kindred or you don't know them. Yep. Or they could be fools. You... Do see... Jeremiah. You do see Visago. Oh, fuck. Side eyes, Lucian. You do see Novak. Oh, fuck. Parker Wells. Oh, oh fuck. Poland. Got my name wrong. <laughs> Google snort. Um, I'm going to start looking to see where the, uh, like, is this like a CPU regular, like, tower? Yeah, it's like a monitor and then a tower. Um, yeah. With from, what's and remaining left of my tools, I'm going to start, I'm going to take the hard drive. From what you can tell, also, just, like, watching him do his thing, and from what you know about cloud. computers, it no, it looks like it's actually a local system. It's not connected to an outside internet. It looks Fact. like it is contained here cool there is a file cabinet though in the corner uh yeah as he is doing that um after stasia pulls the hard drive and everything Mm -hmm. um i'm gonna tell him you don't you fucking move (laughs) and i'm gonna go look through the files real quick okay it looks like uh paper copies of what they have in there take it take all of it as well as other things uh gun honestly regi- uh, re- weapon registry um permits that sort of thing all of it 100%. So you're just like, 
<laughs> you just yeah. pull out the whole like drawer. the whole drawer and just like carry it with you. Might as well. If there's um, it does it look like it's like several drawers full of this stuff or just like one? It's primarily the top one. Okay. The other the other two have like super glue and paper clips and office supplies. One of them's full of candy. Uh, oh damn it! I was gonna I'm I'm gonna take their candy. Oh. I'm gonna take your candy. I'm gonna it's super just... glue this man to this chair. <laughs> um, their dignity and their candy. It's just Correct. his clothes. I'm not gonna do his like not flesh. enough super glue for that. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna try. A little bit. I will goes also a long way. duct tape his hand wound. Well, his hand, so his hand out. wound is bleeding heavily and it smells very good, but none of you had a super high hunger. But Ooh, creepily great. though, I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Lindsay so, Havoc, crazy you, as fuck. Uh, Lindsay discovered some things about herself tonight. Uh, <laughs> you lick it, you uh, duct tape it closed. This man is like shaking. He's not going to do anything. I am surprised you're not just going to duct tape him to the chair. Fine, I do that too. Okay, that's say because that's way faster than super gluing. Um, so I feel like you should get a new job now. pissed himself oh uh, yeah uh <laughs> someone's screwing this <laughs> and if i find out that you told anybody what happened here i will come back for you i'm not gonna tell the other problem anybody anybody other problem she motions over to josh oh i started duct taping that bitch too he he knows who i am what yeah i mean i could kill him if we could just- no please don't i mean okay hear me well, what if we what if we kidnapped him instead and then absolutely not okay but hear me out we kidnap him instead for a second gonna keep him as a pet in relations. your room what <laughs> we can interrogate him is what i'm trying to say to see what else he knows Mama Tisha wanted to know about the asynchronous decision. He obviously has some sort of knowledge about it. I just, I don't want it to be us that had, that, that kills him, okay? All right, please, this is. I'm gonna hoist that bitch over my shoulder. I duct taped him though, first. Okay. Yeah. Hands, feet, duct taped, you just. Oh, no, like round the shoulders and everything too like this bitch is like we're gonna have together. to cut off his, his he is like, mummied and the duct tape and just <laughs> we're gonna have to cut off part of his clothes probably yeah it's fine Jesus. we'll keep him in the basement okay so the rest of the church seems to have fallen quiet cool let's get the fuck out of here get the fuck out of here we're gonna put the door so you leave this poor man no, no, well, I'll, I'll call 911 when we no, get to the Yeah, you, you leave, but in the meantime, you leave this poor man with his duct taped wound, having pissed himself, duct taped to the chair, terrified for his life and regretting his life choices. You make your way upstairs, give him eyes as you walk out. You head upstairs, hoisting Josh along with you. Outside. You don't see any sign, Lucian, of the person that you told to leave and never come back. And you guys make your way back over to the car, presumably? Yep. Yep. And back to Morticia, presumably? Yep. Yep. So you get back over there and she's just like, y'all didn't realize this thing had a mic. Did you have fun? That was fucking hilarious. And you brought me a juice box. Also, we found a whole bunch of documents. <laughs> Are you just like hoisting it? With- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's Stasi is holding the hard drive. She's holding the fucking papers and he is holding the all right, all right. And and she gestures towards the uh the van. Uh- can I keep the copy one, the paper copies? They're of us. 
Oh, yes, I'm burning those. Wants to keep this this one juice box. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think you understand. We're wiping everything. Can I at least look at it to know what they knew? Sure, knock Sweet. yourself out, but I'm gonna burn it as soon as it. That's soon as fair. I'm gonna look. Get one of the ghouls to set it on fire. <laughs> um, it just says some basic information. Uh, the age, your age, when they think you may have been, may have become kindred. You're not. They're not sure. A few notes, questions about whether or not the rest of your family may be kindred. Uh, anyone else in your band, in your band may be kindred, but nothing conclusive. And uh, Morticia holds your hand out for the hard drive. What are you planning on doing with, um, I mean, are you going to question him? I'm behind her just like. <laughs> no. Can't this, is a, this is a liability. He saw you. You yeah. said he you said he knew you. I know. We can't let that fly. I just I have some questions. And I just I just need to if, know if my father was part of the Inquisition too. You said he knew you? Yeah, I uh, grew up in the church with him. And then my dad came and found Lucian and then tried to kill him. And, and you still don't think that he may have been part of the Inquisition? I mean... I, I mean... Just a little bit of denial here. Might be a little bit in denial. Just gonna look over at Lucian and just kind of give him the typical side eye. Give me the hard drive. She hands it over. She drops it on the ground, smashes it with her boot. There. Oh, there's a guy duct taped downstairs. He has a hole in his hand. He's probably going to bleed out. I didn't patch it anything up. That's still a loose end. I'm probably going to... Damien! I'll, I'll do it. Actually, no, I need you to stay here real quick. Don't worry. Do you, it's nothing. Do you no. want me to go do it? No. no. Damien. What are you gonna do? Stop yeah. Get, get, get the toilet. Get the, go. Excuse no. you. Anyway, Damien's gonna take care of that. That's fine. This guy, I can take care of him. I have a surprise for you. You. And she points at Stasia. Slushies? Maybe. Depends. And she stomps around to the back of the van there, opens it up. Slushies? And she pulls out almost like another rolly chair, <laughs> but there's a person tied into this rolly chair. And she hoists it down and drags it over. And he's got a gag around his mouth. And it's Eric. Oh. Oh. I'm running to the car and getting the sword. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys parked like right next to it. So you run over to the car and you grab the sword. And she's like, that's what I like to see. I thought you might enjoy a little reward if you survived this. His mouth. He's all, hmm? Yeah, his mouth is duct taped and he is struggling. That motherfucker. Just for pain. No other reason. Just oh you just just hit him? Just yeah. Okay. Just so you you do. You slice right across his shoulder. And the sword's not as sharp as it could be. Could be a little sharper. But uh it does dig into him and he does you can hear him a muffled uh shriek. But he's he's also constantly saying something. 
his map even though his mouth is covered you can tell he's he's not the way he was the night that he killed you he's worse now he's shaking back and forth and he the noise from underneath the uh the gag around him is constant lucian yes Stasia. could i pretty please borrow your envelope cutter She's just gonna no care if she cuts them or not. Yeah. So you slice through the wrappings around his face and his voice is immediate. Like it is a little bit of yell as you definitely catch part of his mouth. And he's almost immediately goes back into something that's become very familiar to you all. She's coming, she's coming, she's a, but he's frantic. He is fierce and he is angry and he is, she will be coming, she will be coming. She's coming, she will awaken. Mockingbird will release her, Mockingbird will release her. She is coming under the mountain, we will release her. And I, as he is doing that, like go up and just like hold his head and do a premonition to figure out what he is seeing at all. What he, what he is seeing? Like what he has seen, yeah. What is causing this kind of so? I want to say that that's actually a separate power. Okay, but I will still allow you to do a premonition. Okay. Can you remind me what that is again? I'm so sorry. Uh, Rouse rouse check and then uh, resolve and aspects. I pass my rouse check. Wits and aspects. Resolve and aspects. Resolve an aspect. Same die pool, though, so we're good. While you're rolling that, can I look uh, Eric up and down? Does he have any, like, identifying clothing or, like, marks or something that would be, like... like cult-wise? Just something that says, this is Eric, like, for sure, like, oh. an identifying... Oh, I see what you mean. So, something that ha- you remember happening before, when... It was revealed that there was an illusion before. Fucking Barry. I know. We got an owlbear in the background tonight. Um, you remember the illusion broke whenever someone touched them. Stasia has sliced him with the sword, sliced him with the cutter. Lindsay is holding on to his head. He is physical. He is real. And he is in person. Okay. Is there anything that I could like take off of him that would like indicate that he... Like, we, we ran into him. Like, does he have any, like, personal effects on him or something that are definitely Eric's? Does he have any tattoos I could, like, slice off or anything like that? Uh, would you <laughs> say he has anything identifying? Gross, just for one. And then for two, uh, like, yeah, he'd have, like, one of those, like, typical, like, thick-ass, like, silver chains or some dumb shit. <laughs> some douchebag shit if you have one i'm sorry i'm gonna reach out you could also just pull it off then you could also physically take a picture oh our cell phones do that yes what (laughs) it just suddenly says that out loud like i am going to take out my cell phone and pull up the camera and take a picture and take the chain Mm-hmm. So, Lindsay, you got seven. Seven? You yes. are rolling so well on those. Jesus, fuck. That's, yeah, it's terrible. It's so bad. Oh my God. Such a <laughs> terrible thing for me to be doing. I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were trying to find what is causing him to be this way. Yeah, because it's not like everybody who has premonitions is having this deterioration of she's coming. And when we saw Clara before she, after we met her the first time, she seemed to have cleared up. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to figure out if I can so, see anything that he's like seen or something. You hold on to his head and you're trying, you, you, fo- you focus in on trying to, and he's still talking and he's still saying these things very close to you not quiet at all 
Yeah. And you start to hear almost a whisper echo of she's coming. She's coming. And it's not his voice. It is not quite a voice. And you see a face. You see a person. It is a tall, somewhat lanky man. Older. Judging by the paleness of his skin, the sallowness of his face, possibly a kindred. He has kind of short cropped hair that is grayed in the temples. Very austere features, dark clothing, long coat. You've never seen this man before. And you see him speaking to Eric, directing him. creating illusions to protect him. And you hear him saying, we will release her. Uh, After I pull back from Eric, I will pull out my notebook and start drawing that person. He didn't look like any of the pictures that Nicholas had or anything like that? No. Okay. Okay. You could go back. If you have not burned that box yet, you could go back and see. I don't think I have yet. So you could feasibly go back and see if you can okay. spot him. Whereas Waldo, that shit. Okay. The tech tape is now back. Now. <laughs> done with that fucking sound. Uh I'm going to load him up in our car. I'm really excited. Like, it's fucking Christmas. Where Tish is like, thank you. Where do you think you're going? Aren't you going to... You're not going to kill him? Murder him? Oh, oh right, right, right. This is a serious thing. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Rose is a bitch ass in the back. <laughs> Throws Eric in the back? She was talking about killing Eric. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm I have a whole thing for this. Yeah, I have a plan. I, I have a whole I have a whole plan on how I want to do this. I've listened, this is personal. Damn, I was hoping I was gonna get to watch. Oh well. I mean, you can have a sleepover. Mm, no, you have fun with that. Okay. <sighs> well, thank you so and- much. Well, you have, while well, 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 you're like pinning him up in, she grabs Josh, kind of lifts him up. And this man is possibly taller than her, lifts him up with disturbing ease. He's still out cold. She just looks him over. Hmm. It's weird how they can be such a problem sometimes. And then she sinks her fangs into his neck. And within a minute, he has been drained dry and she tosses him to the side like a Capri Sun. (laughs) He was my neighbor. (laughs) And she's like, all right. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with any cleanup. Damien should be uh, getting that one guy. So, um, yeah, you're clear. Thank you. It's been a, a fantastic time. We're square. We're square. Just don't get yourself almost killed by my arch rival anytime soon again. Bayleaf. You know me. Hard to kill. Yeah, that's how I know you. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, well, and she starts like loading up essentially the body into her fucking truck, slams the door, and says, I'm Gonna go make sure that. Uh, Damien's good. She st- steps on her, or sits on her motorcycle and revs it up. 
Bye. And just roars on out of the parking lot. And that, I think, is where we're going to end tonight's episode. Our semi-finale. So. There was a lot there. There was a lot there. Y'all learned a lot of things. That premonition's coming in handy. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. If you like what we're doing, uh, please consider becoming a patron. It helps us make shows like this. Um... Uh, you can also support us in other ways by picking up any of our merch from our website any of the posters that are behind Joseph I don't have anything behind me that would be helpful anyway (laughs) um, uh, please consider joining us on the discord where we can talk theories Um, uh, please follow us on all social medias that's the nerd asylum on Facebook Twitter Instagram and now TikTok you can also sh- follow this show specifically over on Instagram at NA by night and on Twitter at NA underscore by underscore night. <laughs> um, um, Dralicon. Dralicon. The Kickstarter opens uh, January 1st. If you have not started following it, please um, go over and follow the Kickstarter. It will alert you as soon as it goes live and there will be all sorts of interesting things you can uh, um, pledge to. Um, Early pledgers get cool stuff. Yeah. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, as Star said, we uh, season finale is in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Join us for that. It's going to be uh, very good. Yep. Uh, Wednesday is season finale for Neverwinter. So join us for that. Um and everything else can be found on the website if you're not caught up on all of our shows please go catch up on them they're all on the website they're all on the youtube uh that's the nerd asylum it's not hard to find us we have the logo everywhere uh but thank you everybody have a good night and we will see you in two weeks until then stay nerdy friends bye